Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crochet market bag in a size small. The free written pattern for both sizes can be found on my website at jewelsandjones.com and you can find a link for that in the description box below. Let's get started. Some of the materials that you're going to need to make this pattern is you're going to need some worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using a line brand 24 seven cotton yarn. This is a mercerized cotton yarn and I am using it in the color camel. You're also going to need a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle and a stitch marker. Now you're just going to need one ball for the small size and you will need three balls for the big size. All right, let's get started with our pattern. To start our pattern, we're going to need to make a slip knot first. So go ahead and take your yarn, wrap it around your finger twice, take the back piece, push it over the front piece, and then take the front piece and push it over the back piece and over your finger. Then pull tight, grab your crochet hook, insert it into that loop, and then pull tight one more time for a slip knot. So now for the small size, we are going to need to chain 16. So go ahead and take your yarn, wrap it over your hook, and pull through for your first chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now we are going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So skip your first chain and work a single crochet into the second one. So take your crochet hook, insert it into that chain, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through the last two loops for a single crochet. Now continue making a single crochet until the end of the row. All right, so I've just finished my first row of single crochets. And now for row two, we're gonna make another row of single crochets. So you're going to chain one, we're gonna turn our work, and we're gonna make one single crochet in the first stitch, and then make continue to make single crochets until the end of the row. Okay, so I've just completed my row two, and so now for row three to row six, you're just going to repeat row two. So you're just going to make single crochet rows. Once you've completed all six rows, this is when we're going to start our mesh portion of our bag. So what we want to do is we want to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay. So here's my first stitch and we're going to make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, then yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that loop on your hook for a slip stitch. So you should have something that looks like this. Now you want to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five, and make another slip stitch in the following stitch. And you should have something that looks like this. Now just continue to repeat the chain five and slip stitch into each stitch until the end of the row. Once you have completed your mess stitch row, you should have something that looks like this. You should have a total of 15 mesh stitches, so 15 mesh loops. And now you're just going to repeat this row. So what you wanna do is you just want to chain five, one, two, three, four and five, you're going to turn your work and you're going to make a slip stitch in that first loop. Just like so. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this and then you're just going to chain five again and slip stitch to the following loop and just continue to repeat that for the size small. And so now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making single crochets along the right side because we want the right side to look identical to the left side. So for this part, you want to go ahead and chain one. You're going to turn your work and you're going to make one single crochet in that first mesh stitch. So go ahead and make your single crochet 
and then you're going to continue to make single crochets in each mesh stitch until the end of the row. Once you have completed your single crochet row, you're going to make five more single crochet rows for a total of six. So you want to chain one, and you're going to turn your work or just flip it, and you're going to work one single crochet in the first single crochet stitch from the previous row, and just continue to do that until the end of the row. Once you have completed your six single crochet rows, we are now going to make single crochets around the whole entire bag. So what we're going to do first is, is you're going to make six single crochets on the side of the six single crochet rows you just made. So you're going to place one single crochet in each row on the side for a total of six. All right. So what we're going to do is you're just going to chain one, and here's my first row and you're going to place a single crochet just like that. And then you're going to just place five more single crochets on the side. So here's my third one, my fourth, my fifth single crochet, and then my sixth one. Okay. Once you've made six single crochets, on the side, you are then going to make one single crochet in each mesh stitch row on the side. All right. So all you want to do is find your first mesh stitch row, which is right here and go ahead and work one single crochet and just continue to do that until you've reached the end. So until you've reached your last mesh stitch, All right. So once you have completed a single crochet in each mesh stitch, you then want to make six single crochet on the side of your bag again, just like we did on the right side. And so once you have done that, then you want to chain 40 and the chain 40 is for the strap. All right. So go ahead and chain 40. All right, so I just went ahead and chain 40. And so now we're going to attach our chain to the opposite side with a slip stitch and you want to attach it to the first stitch. So make sure your chain is not twisted and then put your hook into that first stitch and then slip stitch it by yarning over, pulling through and then pulling through one more time, just like so. Okay. So now once you've slip stitched your chain to the other side, you're just going to repeat what we just did for this side. So you're going to make six single crochet. So one single crochet in each row, and then you're going to make one single crochet in each mesh stitch. And then on this side over here, you're going to make six single crochet again, then chain 40 for your strap and then slip stitch it to the opposite side and then you'll be at the beginning of where we originally started. So I'm going to go ahead and do that part and then I'll meet you right back here. Okay. So I've just finished working my chain and I went ahead and attached it to the first single crochet from when I started the bag. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to make one row of single crochet around the whole entire bag. So you're going to make a single crochet in each single crochet stitch and in each chain. And so you want to do this by chaining one. You're going to work your first single crochet in the same stitch you placed your slip stitch. And you are going to need a stitch marker for this part because it can be a little bit confusing of where you started and where you ended. So I do recommend putting a stitch marker in that first single crochet. All right. And then just continue making single crochets until you reach your stitch marker again. So once you've completed your single crochet row, you should have something that looks like this now. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to make our shell stitch border. So for our shell stitch border, you want to go ahead and remove your stitch marker. All right. And you're going to make one single crochet in that first stitch where your stitch marker was. 
and then you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and you're going to make a shell stitch in that following stitch. Now for the shell stitch, you're going to create four double crochets in one stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that third one, so that'd be one, two, and three. And then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the last two loops for a double crochet. Now you wanna make three more double crochets in that same stitch. So there's my second one. Here's my third one and my fourth one. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. Now this is gonna be part of our repeat. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and you're going to make a single crochet stitch in the following stitch. Okay, and then you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and make a shell stitch. So you're basically just alternating between a single crochet and a shell stitch. So one, two, and I'm gonna make a shell stitch in this stitch. And so what you wanna do is you just want to continue that pattern until the beginning of where you started. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue and then I'll meet you right back here because this is where we started. So I'm just about done with my shell stitch border, but I just wanted to show you how to do this last part because in the instructions, it says to skip the next two stitches. So one, two, and you're going to make a shell stitch in the following one. So let me go ahead and make my last shell stitch here. Okay, so just made my last shell stitch and then all you want to do is slip stitch to the first single crochet So you can always leave your stitch marker here if you want to do that before you start your border But here's my single crochet and then I'm just gonna slip stitch it And that's it and that's how you make the shell stitch border Okay, so now all we have to do is cut our yarn. So grab your scissors cut your yarn and then um, yarn over your hook and then pull through to close it okay and then all that's left to do is to work in this end all right everyone I really hope you enjoyed this bag tutorial these are so much fun to make and they're so quick too and you can really fit a ton in here I love bringing the small ones to work and I can put all my snacks in here um, but the big one is awesome if you're going to go get groceries. So yeah, you can really do anything with these bags. You can also personalize them with different colors. So for instance, you could even do a different color for the border or a different color for the mesh stitch. Yeah, so you can really do whatever you like. And don't forget, you can find all the pattern notes and directions at the link in the description box below. When you click on it, it'll bring you straight to the free pattern for both sizes. There's also a PDF version available, so I'll make sure to leave that link in the description box below. Okay, everyone, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!